we will now focus on the related case page. As the name suggests, on this page we store all related cases to our opened matter. Why would we want to do this? The main reason is that sometimes cases need to be linked to one another. If you have case A and case B and they are related in some way, you need to know that. This is the purpose of the related page. A good example of this would be a trademark case that's related to an opposition case in our system. We need to see that those two cases are related. To access the related case page, click on the related cases button. A list of all our related cases will appear. It may be that you already have entries listed here and the reason is simple. All family cases are shown on this page by default. Family cases are of course cases which share the same family number. To open any related case entry, double click on it. On this page we can view important information about the linked case. We can see the case number, the matter ID, the country, status, application type and so on. This saves us time as we don't need to open the case to view that info. So it's possible to relate cases that are not in the same family or case type and we do this via the related case page. Appearance wise, if a case appears in bold, we know that this is the current and open case. To add a related case, we click the add button. When we do this, the case family add window will appear. The first field related case is where we choose which case we are going to link. Click on the search icon to search for your case or type it in if known. Cases can be set to relate to one another in different ways using the drop down called type. We have the option to link them as related, dependent, related and dependent, associated or as a cross reference. Let's search for a case and then add it. Now click save and close. A new entry appears on the related page and our two cases are now linked. Interestingly, take note that the link appears on both cases. The case we linked appears on my open case and if I go into the linked case, I can see the case we just came from. Let's look closer at the types of links we can create. I will demonstrate this by using the entry we just created. To edit, select the line and click edit. So the first type of link we can create is called a related case. And this means that our cases are related in some basic way. An example could be different cases covering parts of a similar invention. So a patent case and a design case. Dependent cases creates a dependency between cases. In some countries it is not possible to file or maintain a trademark unless the base country is still active. So our case is dependent on another case and this type is ideal for that scenario. Related and dependent cases identifies that the cases are in some way related and also dependent on each other. Whenever we choose a dependent type, we gain access to the dependent until date. This allows stricter management when the parent case is closed or when an attempt is made to delete the parent case. This action will not be allowed because a dependency exists. The cross-reference is a type that is mostly used by Patricia when automatically linking cases. We haven't yet dealt with automatic linking and will do so in upcoming videos. Right now, know that when we copy cases, that is creating a case based on an existing case, Patricia automatically links these cases for us. The type used for this is the cross-reference type. Associated cases are cases that are legally associated as requested by the registrar. This is usually because of a requirement from the registrar to accept the application. Also, if a related case line is shown in italics, we know that it has the associated type chosen. So we know what the type column is for. It's the way that our open case relates to the case we are linking to. But we also have the type from related. What is this? This lets you define the relationship of the linked record to the record that's currently open. We set how our open case 
links to the linked case under type and then how our linked case relates back to our open case under type from related. If you are not sure which option to choose and simply want to link these cases, then it's a safe bet to leave it as related in both type and type from related. The next tick box include family adds our chosen cases to all of our family matters from the open case. This is a real time saver if you deal with a large list of family cases and wish to link a single case quickly. You can also add in a remark value in the remark field. This is viewable on the main page and quite handy if you add a short description here detailing the case. You are not limited to adding only one link at a time though. You can add multiple related cases by clicking the add row button. Finally, you have the option to delete a linked case by selecting it and clicking the delete button. So to end, we have taken a close look at how to link cases and with proper use, it will let you access relevant cases quickly and efficiently.